that he gained in the first round. This could be where he got cut, Frank. Yeah, I think so too, because look at this big, there's a big clash of both bodies coming in, and he comes up high with the head and catches him, and as he's coming up, his forehead lands in there. I think he, that's where he cut himself almost, Ramirez, when he stepped in, being aggressive. You see the little bit of blood trickling down on Weesberg's body right now on, his, on the left side of his head. Look at this, this is great position. He's out of position. He's getting beat up. He turns around. He's getting hit pretty flush with most of those punches. Finds a little bit of space, gets in, goes to hold that leg, and then takes him to the ground. Great smarts by both guys. Reeswick's corner. 10 9, 10 9, both rounds, says Frank to Justin Reeswick. We are ready to rock and roll in the third. Fantastic crowd on hand here at the Houston Theatre Arena. Reesberg bouncing up and down the balls of his feet. Ramirez landed some very good strikes late in the second round. Forearm guard against the high left round kick. Nice dexterity here by Reesberg kicking off both legs. Double jab, right hand, the old bread and butter combination, then drops it down to the bread basket. It's tough to see in live action. When you watch Reesberg, every time he throws that right hand, he slides his head to the left side. So there's no counter to actually hit him with. So as he throws that right, all you can do is block the right and take the punishment. And you see there, Ramirez twice went for a counter cross, couldn't connect on both occasions. The head movement of Reeswerg is superb. Good leg kick from Ramirez. Maybe needs to open up with the legs a little more. Misses with the hands. Right hand lead from Reeswerg. And that was a skip up round kick, nicely done, switch up round kick. Where you take the lead leg, you switch it to the back and you throw it off the rear. The corner of Reeswerg telling him to circle and once again he answers. Circling into the lead hand, away from the right hand of Ramirez. Oh, beautiful right, smack bang on the kisser again there from Reeswerg. And the blood again is pouring down the side of the eye of Mark Ramirez. Ramirez is doing an outstanding job. I don't want to take anything away from him. He's really moving a lot. He's moving his head out of the way. He's stepping in. It's just, it's just Wiesberg just has a better position with his hands. He just knows how to get his hands to the head a lot cleaner. Wiesberg biding his time here. A very patient fight, a very calculated fight. Now shoots in, gets a takedown inside half guard, top position. From here, Reeswerk can work some ground and pound. What does Ramirez do from here, Frank? Ramirez has got to push him out. He's got to get some space, keep his head off him, try to get him all the way down. So he's starting to pass. And so now he's in trouble. Ramirez is in trouble because now he's got to lay a full body mark, full half guard. He's able to start holding on a lot tighter. He needs to get some space in here. Ramirez in a lot of trouble. There's no space for him to maneuver on the bottom. My word, nasty fighter Justin Reeswick just pounded the knuckles into that damaged eye. And again he goes after it with the right hand. Look at the left side of the face of Mark Ramirez. Somebody call the Red Cross because he's got a huge donation to make. Final seconds of the third round and unless Ramirez has a Hail Mary shot in his bag of tricks. This fight will go to Reeswerk. Has Ramirez got one last punch? It is not to be. And what a way to kick off Legacy Fighting Championships for the first time ever on HDNet. Tremendous sportsmanship. That's what we like to see, Frank. Yeah, both these guys are young fighters. They have a long, both guys have a long, legitimate career. These guys have a lot of room for improvement, but they're so good right now. It's really great to see how they move their head, move their bodies, get themselves out of the way, and really try to keep from getting hit. You see Ramirez finally slides in there with that right hand and immediately gets caught with a right hand of his own coming back through. I mean, Reesberg is just so smart about how he does all this stuff. And at the end, he knew he was starting to get melee just a little bit in the stand-up game, put it on the canvas, and save himself some energy. What a gutsy 21-year-old, Mark Ramirez. And the team from Urban Jungle Self-Defense, Justin Reeswerk, and the team from Bam Bam Martial Arts with him. As Frank said, two tremendous prospects. Ramirez came in three and one. Reese Worker two and one. Certainly, 
the future of the legacy. Nice cut on the nose too there of Ramirez. Look at the one over the eye. He's going to need more stitches than a well-tailored suit after this one. Mark Ramirez. Okay, let's go up to Colin Cantrell to put it in the record books. Ladies and gentlemen, after three hard rounds in this lightweight fight, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges score the fight the same to 30 to 27 for your winner by unanimous decision, Justin Rice. And there it is. Spot on the money, Justin Reeswick gets his third pro win.